Hey everyone, check out this video from Joe Rogan uh, with his guest talking about the situation in the land of Israel. One of the questions that's always comes up in this discussion is the concept of perceived genocide among some. And so Joe Rogan is under the misimpression that uh, the numbers would depict a genocide or at least the beginnings of a genocide and watch his guests sort of dismantle that thought process as he goes along. Check this out. 30,000 innocent civilians in response to something that killed 1,200 innocent civilians and you're continuing to bomb an area into oblivion. Mm. That is at least the steps of genocide or a form of genocide. So when you say 30,000 civilians, it's not 30,000 civilians that have been killed, though. How many th thousands have been killed? So according to ha uh, Gaza Health Ministry, which mm -hmm. is run by Hamas, the number they have is 32,000, but they don't distinguish between Hamas and civilians. How so, many members of Hamas are there? 40,000, something like that. It's n I don't think the number is known, but it's tens of thousands. So Hamas says 32,000 people have been killed, mm -hmm. civilians and soldiers. Israel says 13,000 soldiers have been killed by Israel. So okay. let's not doubt either number. They could both be well, inflated. But if both of those numbers are accurate, which they may or may not be, that would be 13,000 soldiers killed, 19,000 civilians killed, which for urban combat in the Middle East is a very normal ratio. It's very distinct from genocide because genocide is when you're trying to maximize civilian casualties. I think Israel, however imperfectly, is doing the opposite. They're trying to minimize civilian casualties. That's interesting. This is the way I would put it, succinctly. If you ask the question, what is unique about this war? What is different about this war than all other wars? It's, it's not the civilian death toll. The ratio of combatants to civilians is, I think it's better than the American armies was when we got ISIS out of Mosul. That was like 10,000 civilians dead to kill 4,000 ISIS. This is... 19,000 civilians dead to kill 13,000. What's unique about this war, unlike every other war that I could think of, is you have an army in Hamas that has perfected the art of embedding itself and meshing itself with civilians so that you cannot hit them without hitting the people around them. Other armies have done this, but none have perfected it to the extent that Hamas has. And, and yes, I agree with all of the absolute tragedy and suffering of the Palestinian people, but what creates that is the way Hamas fights. And either we can say one of two things. We can either say Israel just, Israel doesn't have a clean shot and they have to let Hamas get away with it because it's too much to bear. But then we are essentially creating a situation where terrorists have found the perfect solution, which is that you can cross the border, go house to house slaughtering your enemies and then hide behind your own people and they can do nothing about it. It's a perfect strategy. Can we live in a world where we allow that to be an acceptable strategy? I don't think so. And it's very ugly to watch. It's heartbreaking and I completely understand why people don't think the way I think when they see the videos. I completely get it. But I don't think we can actually live in a world where that's allowed to be a, a strategy. I appreciate your perspective. I see what you're saying. You clearly know more about it than I do. Anyone who has a heart is, is bothered by the fact that innocents die in war. The question is not so much how many are dying, but who bears the responsibility of the death. And in this case, it's entirely Hamas, it's entirely Hezbollah, and they are purposely embedding themselves amongst civilians in order to increase the amount of civilians, in order to increase hostility towards Israel from world opinion.